Ten months ago, I was living a normal, active life. I never expected something like this to happen to me. But then again, no one does. When my doctor told me that I had prostate cancer, those two words turned my world upside down. Early detection screening wasn't on anybody's radar. Not mine, and not my doctor's. When you are 20 years younger than the typical guy who gets prostate cancer, it's not something that you worry about. After I began to notice that something wasn't quite right, my friends and family finally convinced me to go see a doctor. I have stage four metastatic prostate cancer with a five-year survival rate of 28%. I was shocked, I was frustrated, and I was motivated. I knew I could beat this. I pursued all the same treatments as most people with advanced prostate cancer. Surgery, hormone therapy, and then finally chemotherapy. And I'm fortunate that these treatments have temporarily pounded my cancer into submission. But my cancer, like everyone's, is unique. And when it comes back, it'll be even more aggressive and resistant to conventional treatments. I need a personalized approach. Imagine if I could learn what was making my unique cancer grow. Imagine if I could learn why my immune system can't stop it. Imagine if I could find a new promising drug that could weaken it. There has to be a better way. And I believe that way is through technology. Ironically, the enabler of those answers came from a place that I know well. I've worked for Intel for the past 15 years, and they are collaborating with OHSU to use technology to accelerate genomic sequencing by using high-performance computing cloud solutions. That collaboration between Intel and OHSU, it's not just changing how cancer is understood, it's changing lives. Doctors at OHSU performed genomic sequencing of my tumor and discovered that my cancer grows in a unique way. We also learned that my cancer will become resistant to traditional treatments much faster than normal. And because of this new information, we're gonna alter my treatment plan. Combining technology and bioscience has changed the way that I'm fighting cancer, but we have to go further. As my cancer grows and mutates, I'm gonna need to know who else in the world is just like me and what treatments work for them. To make this possible for everyone, cancer institutions everywhere are gonna to need to use this technology to collaborate in a way that also protects patient information. I believe that the more data that can be securely analyzed and compared, the more effective everyone's cancer treatment will be. It's time for technology and life sciences to come together in a big way, because together, we can make it personal.